Hello, Prinhound Dar, Prinhound Dar, Croizo. Welcome back to the channel. Here we are once again. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, etc., etc. Um, we are visiting the Manor of Legends, uh, just briefly considering the Legends summons. So, this is a sort of regular event. I guess this is a bit of a beginner's guide to it. So, in the Manor of Legends, you can get some of the previous heroes of the month, like Mortis, who is particularly excellent. A uh, very popular one. Blockbuster seemed pretty good. Wilmer, good defensively. Yolani, quite a reasonable yellow attacker. Goldman, generally rated okay. Mr. Magna, not amazing, but pretty useful. Visor, um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Nima, excellent. Really like Nima as a healer. Use her a lot. Uh, Visor, yeah, okay, not amazing. Um, Letitia, not sure about Letitia. I don't think she's particularly amazing but she's all right so uh, jocasta really good healer minamoto is pretty good umber is very good i like umber a lot natalia uh, 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 reasonable i think so there's some pretty good five star heroes available zander uh bah, 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 bah. yeah minus healing and never one of my favorite effects pavati is a good sort of solid healer only does those around her chul's really helpful with his uh freezing you know, stopping enemy attack things. And then, of course, you go on to your standard heroes. Now, I only did one um, summon because I had my coins. And I, of course, managed to get the mighty... I nearly clicked on the clicked on a hero then made, made it look like it was going to be exciting. I got the mighty. Have I got to him yet? Oh, he's coming up. Must be coming up soon. No, still not there. Oh, we're getting near him. So all of these heroes that I could have got and I got oh no i didn't get an emma that'd be good we'll be all right anyway no he oh maybe he's not in here no i didn't get vavara it's gonna be the last one i come to where i got Rashan. there we are it's amazing how exciting it was not quite the last hero there were about four or five more before we get back to mortis so there we are so that was my luck but there we are so there are some good heroes available now manner of legends um each le each level you can only take uh, you can only use each hero once for the whole manner of legends. So there are 10 stages. So obviously the the first few stages you want to be using your three star heroes. So what I would recommend is, is I've used three star heroes for one, two, three, and four. Probably going to use a few four, three and four stars for stages five, six, seven. Eight would be a, will be a mixture of four and five stars. And nine and ten will probably be five stars with some of the more random battle items. Not going to take uh, the Chrono Blaster because they're quite useful. I use them on other things. I will take the Life Force Accelerator. Um, and I will take Lifesavers. This may seem a bit random. But that way, if any of my heroes die, doesn't really matter. I can still bring them back to life. And these are things I never really use in anything much else. Uh, that said, uh, let's just go back. I will save my team. Uh, let's just see what colours I'm up against. So obviously going to want to go for purple there. But look at that. Lots of yellows. Don't want to use my best purples yet. Uh, I will, however, start using... No, you're not... Fat, thumb, fat thumbs today. You're you, you, and you. So I've got three decent yellows. I will chuck in a Victoria and I will chuck in a yellow Soraya there. Hopefully this will be enough. Uh, let's see how we get on. So you can see, obviously, the purple tile damage is pretty high. Basically, with the Manor of Legends, the mob waves are just time fillers. Um, the mobs are pretty easy. It's when you get to the bosses that things get tricky, if they're going to get tricky. So here we go. Pew, pew, pew. Tons of bullets. Um, just try and keep yourself up together. If you've got an armor booster, try and use them on the uh, get them get your armor to full and things like that. Obviously, with this particular team, I don't have an armor booster. Uh, I do have Rana, who will do a fair bit of healing, which is quite handy. And I may well use Rana will come in quite handy on the boss wave because their attacks are going to be pretty powerful. And obviously, she does a nice counter attack, which is uh, which is beautiful. And means that they have, they work harder and I work less, which is always good. Um, ba, 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 so we need through the mobs. Um, at this stage, you can see what's her name, um, Victoria, still doing quite a lot of damage with every tile. Um, that won't last. Here we are on the boss wave, so I can poison them, which is good, and distract them. But you'll see that those attacks didn't really do all that much damage to them. Uh, just gives a bit of an indication of how tough they are and how tough this is going to be. Uh, Victoria going off here. Now, you saw how much damage she did to the mobs. Barely scratches the bosses. Barely scratches them. 
Uh, I can see one or two or even all three of them are getting close to getting their special skill ready. So I'm going to get Rana ready now because I'd quite like uh, her counter-attack to help me out. I can see my Rana over there is pretty close to dying. Uh, not Rana, sorry, Soraya is pretty close to dying. Uh, I remember she wasn't originally called Soraya. I can't remember what her original name was. So the counter-attack there, but the counter-attack's been debuffed as well, so that's a bit annoying. I could probably put it back. There we are. So you're sort of starting to see heroes die on my side. Uh, I'm going to use this healing kit on her there. Um, purple tiles are still doing a reasonable amount of damage, at least against Goldman. We won't do so much against the others. A bit of poison going in there. Uh, I'm going to pop the counter-attack thing up on Rana. Chul going off there. Just sort of standard attacks for a moment. Just trying to keep the board. It's a bit of a slow board, actually, this one. Got five in a row purple to get in a second, though. That'll help. Um, so I'm not going to worry about Soraya this time around. So I'm just going to leave her for now. You can see my health overall is... It's pretty okay. Uh, this is about the kind of level I would suggest you want to be playing to, uh, where it's you are challenged, but not like being absolutely stomped. Um, not good to be absolutely stomped. I'm going to bring in my life force generator now, because these I never really use anywhere else, so I may as well just chuck them in now. They boost everybody's health. Um, so although they're quite an expensive battle item, I've got tons of them. I, you know, you get get them as rewards for winning events or different things. So I've got no shortage of them. I just I never use them. So this is a this is a good event to use up some of the battle items you never use. So there we are. So that was a mixture of three and four stars for level five. Uh, now level six, I'd be going on to therefore oh, let's just collect my chest. Jing 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 jing. Food and going on to this one. Um, again, so oh, I haven't checked the team colours. Let's just go back. Uh, let's see what team colours I've got. Blue and yellow. So I'll probably go with green because I just did uh, a few of my purple moves. So I'm going to go for some green um, four stars. Mix them. Oh, he's a five star. Let's not go five stars quite yet. Probably the next mission will be the one where I'll break out some five stars. Um, obviously, I've got one healer there. Let's go with uh, a red and... Actually, I'll go with a yellow counter-attacker and a red. Go for Astrid. A bit more health, a bit more power here now. Um, again, you'll see that the mob wave, they do not last very long. They're not particularly tough. Uh, another Rana would have been, been better, obviously, than taking f it's Flint, isn't it? Flint. But, uh, you know, I don't have another Rana who is leveled up. Uh, might consider it because I do like... I'm, I'm quite a big fan of counter-attackers, um, personally. I know not everybody loves them, but... Uh, I like them. I find that uh, when you're trying to do a level on the cheap uh, in terms of battle items and everything else, they're, they're quite effective. Um, so here we go. Flint's counter-attack is up. He does also do an attack boost to those either side of him. So he's not as good as Rana. Rana's uh, special skill is better. The healing is much more useful than the attack up on uh, a counter-attacker, in my opinion. Because uh, then, it, you know, not only is she firing everything back at people, she's keeping herself alive, which is, uh, which is invaluable. Uh, Astrid going off here, rockets pouring down on people. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Cleared out, there we are. Uh, let's get some more of these tiles in play. Clear some of this. Uh, green five in a row, and quite a good time to get green five in a row as well. Uh, just coming up here. So that will boom, that will be nice. Uh, gonna save the counter attack for one turn, I think. Yeah, I thought that. Oh no, I was hoping. Uh, that, that I didn't want to have happen. The uh, the green grenade would have been better off saved for the end. I mean, it was a big combo. Didn't really want a big combo there. So here we go. Pew, pew, pew. I'm not going to use the special attack to begin with. Hardest thing here is going to be Jocasta. Easiest he hero to potentially kill is should be Chul because of the colour stacking I have in play. So I'm going to focus on Chul and hopefully get him fairly well um, beaten up before... Jocasta goes off ideally won't probably quite happen obviously there are battle items like um, time stops and things like that I could be using here but they're fairly expensive and I use them a lot so I tend to be short of those whereas I tend to have more of uh, 
you know these kind of uh, like the life preserve um, life restoring things what's it called life rest it's called some of the life restore life force accelerator sorry life force accelerator so i tend to use them uh, quite a uh, yeah things like uh, shock grenades and um time stops uh are chrono blasters i use a lot whereas i don't really use these anything like so much um jocasta there going off now you can see that because they have got quite so much health she doesn't actually restore quite as much health which is good um goldman goldman i think but look i don't know if he debuffed whether my hero just ran out of um stuff it could be either but either way a bit annoying uh some tiles there going into jocasta mainly charging her with energy unfortunately because she's obviously not great to hit with green. This will, will this kill someone? So some of mine, again, you can, you can see the aim here really is I would recommend you want to sort of try and play it fairly close to the point that you are almost uh, going to lose heroes or lose the, the whole lot. You, so you use as few resources as you can um, for this one. It's not about speed, so you can really take your time and get you know get a good result um, without having to spend lots of, uh, lots of your best battle items or whatever else. Um, the reward, the heroes you can get for it, oh, they are pretty good. Like, you know, the the, the uh, old heroes of the month, as I thought mentioned at the start of the video. There are some excellent heroes of the month. Um, one or two of them are particularly good. I've got, I think, three of them, which is, you know, pretty good going, really, for, for somebody who's free to play. Um, occasionally, you know, it's very exciting when you get that bonus draw thing pop up. But there we are, see, so counter-attack there really took care of Goldman. So the counter-attack is going to be really, really good when you're facing overpowered enemies like these guys. So there we are. So now I'm moving on to stage seven. I'll probably still be looking at four stars, but possibly introducing a five star or two. Uh, you have to ration your healers. I wouldn't recommend taking more than one healer at a time. Um, and yeah, you want to sort of think about how you're going to distribute your forces most effectively, not just the number of stars, but also the powers and, you know, uh, special skills of the heroes involved. And that way you should get through the Manor of Legends with everybody uh, with, as, with it as cheaply as possible. And then that will get you enough coins so to do your legend summon so you can see i've got 40 uh by the time i have finished the manner of legends which might be today might be tomorrow depending on this time rather than uh and then you know ability so to speak uh then i would have another 90 120 160 coins which is enough to do one more summon so i can get myself another rashan there we go anyway so thank you very much for watching as ever do please remember to like share comment and subscribe uh, and it just remains for me to say, Hoyle goodbye, and may death come swiftly to your enemy.